Vivek, when it comes to the election, right, and, and I don't want to get too deep in it because you know how this, these things go. However, you know, a lot of people have questions about the election. A lot of people are concerned. A lot of people think that we will never win another election because of what happened in 2020 and the plans that they have moving forward. What do you think is like what is your perspective on when you are actually on the ballot 2024 as the general? You know, you won the general. I mean, you won the primary. You're now in the general. What? Do you think we will get a fair shake? Do you think that you will get a fair shake? And, and I guess the bigger question is this. Why would you get a better shake? Or why do you think that they wouldn't do the same that they've done to Trump? I think they will, actually, is the short answer. The only difference is, I mean, just on the, on the principle of it, it has to be a landslide underlying margin. And a landslide election, minus some shenanigans, is still a landslide, or at least a moral mandate election. That's what it has to be. This has to be a Reagan 1980 style margin. And, and why do I think I'm going to be able to deliver it? I don't even talk about Republicans and Democrats on the campaign trail. I talk about whether you are pro-American. Do you believe in the ideals this country was founded on? Are you willing to fight for those ideals? Are you willing to sacrifice for those ideals? Or are you, and I think it exists in this country, are you fundamentally anti-American? Do you wish to apologize for a nation founded on these ideals. I think the current vice president of the United States and to some extent the president embody that. But my point is this is not about Republicans and Democrats. This is about whether we're on the same team in the pro-American movement. And when I talk about it that way, I go to the south side of Chicago. We bring people along with us. I went to Kensington in the middle of Philadelphia. We bring people along with us. I go to college campuses, including even liberal college campuses across this country. We're bringing young people along with us in a way that no other candidate, I would say, including Trump, are actually successfully doing. That's what we will require in order for this to be A, a successful election, and B, for us to have the moral mandate to actually govern with authority. And that's why I'm in the race. And so has big tech locked one of my accounts already? Yes, they have. My LinkedIn account was locked because I made statements that they said violated their policies. I'm not making this up on hate speech, misinformation and violence for making statements about the climate agenda and its relationship to the ESG movement. Well, my approach is a little bit different. What did I do? I'm grounded in facts, right? I, I'm, you know, we're not we're not getting into policy in this discussion you and I are having. But if you've seen me get into policy, I'm I'm pretty tightly tied to the facts and nobody's going to dispute me on my own terms for something I've actually chosen to put out there. So we put out the facts. I said, point out what's false. They couldn't. I publicly published the emails where they said it violated their policies. They were so embarrassed by the facts, they started getting media inquiries that they actually then retreated and said, oh, no, no, we apologize. That was an error, as though it was some technical glitch. It was not. But that's what I do. I go to the other side's turf, and whether it's Don Lemon at CNN or Chuck Todd at Meet the Press, neither of whom is in their respective seats anymore, I show up on the other side's home turf, we win on the merits, and we will be grounded on principles and moral authority. And I think we go further when we're grounded unapologetically on principle rather than just driven by vengeance and grievance. And there are good reasons to be aggrieved. But if we're going to move forward as a country, we got to do it based on principle. And I come back to that point. I will take our agenda, the America First agenda, even further than Trump did. I will take on issues, sacred cows that he was told not to touch, like affirmative action or other issues where I'm going far further than he did. But I genuinely believe we will unite the country, at least most of the country. I think that's the best we can ask. 80% of this country, we will unite in the process. And that will make sure that even a landslide minus some aberrations will still be a decisive electoral margin.